money. Keely sent you to a new crib. Bad bitch speak pig Latin. Touch the next with a new seal. Stick a price with the white bricks. Ray Kwan with the blue heels. Slice the pine, we all need. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. UFC athlete is worthy of a Hall of Fame distinction despite having never realized a UFC title. I would submit to you Donald Cowboy Cerrone. His resume reads like a UFC record book. And he just keeps on getting better. Every time you think Cowboy is starting to get to the end of the rope, he reinvents himself. He makes some small change to his game that allows him to compete at the highest level. The run that he went on after beating Alexander Hernandez and then Coupling that with the massive victory over Ally Aquinta, you thought watching that you were watching the very best Cowboy Cerrone you've ever seen. And this is at the tail end of a career that spanned over a decade. And his new source of motivation, his son, Danger, these are very legitimate championship aspirations for Donald Cowboy Cerrone, trying to move one step closer here tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in it's a over, world of JK. trouble. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with the same height and a similar reach. Now here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 41 wins, 18 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, Donald Cowboy Cerrone! And now it's his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. A boxer holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Cape Town, South Africa. Johnson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Well, his last fight will be a tough act to follow as we get ready for round one here. Brutal knockout his last time out, and that positioned him for this opportunity here tonight. So, can he keep the momentum going as the challenges get stiffer, keep the winning streak intact, and of course try to get another win by knockout to take his popularity soaring to another level? Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your... Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he... All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. That's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Nice punch, Lance. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done! He's done! Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Oh, straight right. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio 
the cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is... Looks like he's trying for a submission now. movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. 90 seconds now remain in the round. Nice job of hiding that head kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. How good is that right hand? Cerrone's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a puzzle. Even be on his feet right now. Back to the feet. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest. A position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, that strike is blocked. Straight counter, is it? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, so the lifelong striker, Cowboy Cerrone, showing you his kickboxing acumen here tonight. Nicely done. And on Cowboy Cerrone's kicks, it's not that he throws them blind. They're always hidden. They're always hidden behind some beautiful combination. And tonight, that combination led to that beautiful kick land. Great action to get to that kick down. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Get him tall. One, two, takedown. There's no tell on that leg kick. Back and forth we go. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant. Oh! Another power leg strike for Cerrone. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like he was... Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to tease that finish down now. Back to the feet. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Beautiful kick. Adam working at trying to shut the liver down. He loaded up on his right hand, too. Oh, wow! Huge head kick. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Well, there it is again. He just continues to keep landing those takedowns, scoring a lot of points. His opponent has showed a pretty good getup, but not sprawling, not stopping the shot. He's got to sprawl early.